Moderator, it is my pleasure to introduce guests from the Korean Christian Church in Japan, also known as the KCCJ. It is a sign of their deep affection for the Presbyterian Church in Canada and for the relationship we share between our two churches for 92 years, that they have just arrived directly from Pearson International Airport after a 12-hour flight from Japan, renting a car and driving <laughs> perilously here to bring greetings to us. We are deeply grateful that they are here. This, this afternoon, we, re we welcome Reverend, I'm going to get this wrong, Kim Jong Joon, who is the moderator of the KCCJ, and the Reverend Kim Byung Ho, who is the General Secretary of the KCCJ. David McIntosh is their translator and is also the co-director for the Center for Minority Issues and Mission, a KCCJ initiative supported jointly by the Presbyterian Church in Canada and the United Church of Canada. The recent increase of hate speech and discrimination of Koreans and other minorities in Japan was the impetus to create this important center in 2017. Moderator, I present our guests. この度は対百四十国会カナダ長老協会の定期総会に出席し、対議員の皆様とともに挨拶することが許されまして、誠に感謝申し上げます。I am truly grateful to be given permission to attend and to deliver greetings to delegates of this, the 145th General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church in Canada. イセキ前国を失って国境を離れ日本の地に流れてきた数万人の朝鮮の人々が日本帝国によって抑圧や差別に苦しんでいた時カナダ長老協会は1972年から今日に至るまで90年にわたってイエスキリストによる Nearly a century ago, at a time when several tens of thousands of Koreans who had lost their country, left their homes and drifted to Japan, suffered oppression and discrimination under the Japanese Empire, the Presbyterian Church in Canada sent its first missionary to serve among us. Since that day in 1927, over 90 some years, the Presbyterian Church in Canada has sent 34 missionaries to engage in gospel evangelism and stand with us in our struggle for dignity and human rights. Mata, Shigatini We also thank you for enabling the current mission work of David Mackintosh son of missionaries Jack and Beth McIntosh, who has been co-director of the Center for Minority Issues and Missions since its establishment in April 2017. その式典において、カナダ長老協会から、タニエル長総会長の祝賀
メッセージを送ってくださり、心より感謝申し上げます。Last year, in 2019, the Korean Christian Church in Japan celebrated the 110th anniversary of mission in the land of Japan. We take this opportunity to express our gratitude for the warm message of congratulations which we received from moderator Reverend Daniel Cho. So, this is the first time that the Chinese Taikan Christo Kyokai no Kyokai no Kyokai no Kyokai no Kyokai no Kyokai no Kyokai 研修会を行います。それは、このトロントの一角に、かつて、チャイニーズ大韓キリスト教会の、えー、この教会で働いてこられた34名の宣教師の資料館が開館されたことを覚え、資料館の訪問や、カナダ長老教会本部の尋ねまた元選挙士たちに会うために私たちは参ります。時が流れていくことで忘れていくその選挙士の技を次世代とともに分かち合いたいのです。This year, from June 10th through 13th, 20 members of the Korean Church in Japan will hold our annual clergy retreat in the Toronto area. We learned that there was, in a corner of Toronto, a museum of Canadian missionaries in Korea, and that a new resource room within the museum was dedicated to the 34 missionaries who worked with the Korean Christian Church in Japan. We are coming to visit this facility. And the General Assembly Office of the Presbyterian Church in Canada, and to meet with retired missionaries who previously served with the KCCJ. Aware that memory is lost with the passage of time, we wanted to share this mission history with the new generation. こ,の総会において私たちの感謝の気持ちを込めた小さな感謝杯を差し上げたいのです。I and General Secretary Kim wanted to come a few days before the clergy retreat so we could bring greetings to this General Assembly and to present this small plaque as a token of our deep appreciation. カナダ長老協会の上に豊かな主の恵みがありますことを心からお祈り申し上げます。ありがとうございました。We pray for God's rich blessings upon the Presbyterian Church in Canada. Thank you very much. All right.、Um, I'm just going to.、Um... Just going to, to read the, the text on the plaque. I'm just going、yes. to read out the text on the plaque.、Uh, in gratitude to the Presbyterian Church in Canada. In 1927, the Presbyterian Church in Canada sent Reverend L. L. Young as a missionary to the growing community of Koreans in Japan. His gospel mission among us contributed to the formation of the Korean Christian Church in Japan in February 1934, when, by God's grace, Korea was liberated from Japanese colonialism in 1945. The Presbyterian Church in Canada returned Reverend Young to Japan to continue his work with Koreans who could not go home or who elected to remain in Japan after the war. Through selfless service, Reverend Young and others who followed helped the KCCJ to grow as an agent of God's gospel mission among Koreans in Japan. Over the years, the PCC sent to the KCCJ 34 missionaries. And aided immeasurably our mission among compatriots 
who faced racism and discrimination in daily life, supporting us in Christian education, lay leadership development, and our struggle to win human rights. We in the KCCJ will never forget this hand of friendship. Giving praise to God, our guide through history, we present this plaque to commemorate the precious mission relationship between our two churches and to express heartfelt gratitude to the people of the Presbyterian Church in Canada for your unlimited love and mission support. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to say something. Will you translate for me? Thank you for making the journey to be with us here today. This is a beautiful gift and a beautiful sign of thanks. We also are grateful for your partnership in ministry and in mission with us in, in your part of the world and in ours. We are very grateful to be partners with you. Congratulations on 110 years of missionary work. That is a wonderful accomplishment, and we pray that there will be many, many more years of missionary work ahead um, until all know the love of God that has been shown to us in Jesus Christ.